So here I have a ADC flash converter. It takes um, an analog output and converts it to a digital output. So um, this would technically be a 3-bit ADC flash, but uh, normally they're 2 bits. So what it does is it takes 4 op amps used as comparators to compare this right line to the left line. And uh, depending on the value of this potentiometer, it'll, it'll um, I'll put these high or low in order. So I can demonstrate that here with this slider. So this is my potentiometer. And if I change the value here, it'll put the output, it'll change the outputs here. And this was just um, a weird thing I was messing with because it took me a while to figure out the uh, chips. But here, so if I change the potentiometer, it'll change the output to a logical output. So you get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 0, 0. Yeah. So what took me the longest was trying to figure out this guy right here. The, uh, I don't know, it's called a TIL-311. I don't know what the, the English name is, but that's just the part number. So this TIL-311 is tricky because instead of taking high inputs, it takes low inputs. So uh, normally... ICs take high inputs, but yeah, this one takes low ones. So after I figured that out, I was able to build this circuit pretty easily. But um, it might look like a mess because all my wires are pretty long, but it works. <laughs> so here's my op amp IC. And then these are the logical ICs. This is a NAND gate, an inverter, and two NOR gates, or two NOR ICs. And then here I have three transistors, and that's what I had to use to uh, get this guy to work. So, um, yeah. That's what it looks like. So if I change this potentiometer, it'll change the value on the TIL-311. And then, uh, originally I used OR gates and AND gates, but so for these... But I had to change that because I don't have any AND gates. So out of all these ICs that I have, I apparently don't have AND gates. But uh, I do have NAND gates, NOR gates, and inverters. So this is the math and the K-maps that I did to try to figure out how to build the circuit. I'm sure there's a much easier way to do this, but I thought it'd be fun to try to figure it out myself. And uh, yeah. Oh, if you're an electrical engineer, I recommend you get one of these. It's called a 548A Logic Clip. It helps out a lot when you're trying to troubleshoot these circuits. Because uh, if I snap this on here, it'll show me all the outputs of the IC. So if you know what the IC looks like, you can look them up on the internet. You can uh, troubleshoot it by seeing which the outputs are high and low. And it also works for pretty much any IC. This is, I'm going to troubleshoot the NAND gate. So these are all NANDs. And yeah, there you have it, an ADC flash.